Ultramarines, the Emperor is calling us back to arms with the much anticipated release of Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2. This is a 1-3 player online co-op title releasing on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series consoles. I'm going to go over every detail you need to know in regards to the co-op, so check the chapter select below to get your questions answered, but be sure not to skip the first section if you're playing around launch day. Let's get into how to play Space Marines 2 with your friends. Unfortunately, if you're like us and wanting to hop into Space Marines 2 early or around its launch, specifically to play it in co-op with your friends, I'd highly suggest waiting. The TLDR is that the game is in a rough state both technically and from a server standpoint. We have barely been able to play together and we're not alone in that. There is widespread reports of players getting stuck in a joining server screen as the main issue plaguing the game right now. But that also affects stuff like shared progression, crossplay, and simply any online play is hit or miss at best. The developers have acknowledged this and are at work on fixing it, so we'll treat the rest of this how-to as if these systems are working as intended, so that everyone can come back here and get their answers once the game is in a healthy state. Space Marine 2's co-op is split into two modes, a character-led campaign and a class-based operations mode. Both have three-player online co-op and can be joined in the same way. First, you'll have to complete the opening tutorial mission, which takes about 45 minutes. After that mission, you'll be taken back to your home base where you'll be introduced to two NPC squadmates, and that's when online play is unlocked. You'll be able to add friends using the menu in the top right corner. For crossplay, you're going to send a code to your friends that they'll enter on their end. And for friends that share your system of choice, you can simply add each other with your console's invite system. Operation mode is also unlocked at this point. However, you need to go into your menu and switch over to that mode. The game suggests you complete story missions before playing Operations Mode in order to avoid spoilers, as their stories run in tangent with each other, but you can just go ahead and play them whenever you want at this point. Both the host and the non-host will have shared progression when playing the story campaign and Operations Mode. Additionally, in the Operations Mode, you'll upgrade your character class by getting experience for your chosen class, the weapons you use, as well as receive currency for cosmetics after completing a mission. This too will be carried over to both the host and non-player host games. Again, please note at launch we've experienced bugs that have made the system not work the way it is intended, but it should hopefully be fixed later on. If the non-host player gets stuck in a loading screen after a mission, try making them the host. This actually did allow us to ensure the other player received shared progression for the mission. However, it did end up making them miss the short story moment that was happening after the mission. While the non-host players do not play as the main character Titus in the story campaign, they still have the exact same experience as the host. They'll have the same abilities, weapons, they can do all the objectives in a mission, and they get to watch the same cutscenes. As far as we can tell, the game does not have difficulty scaling when playing with friends. Your difficulty for both the story campaign and operations mode can be chosen beforehand and that determines the difficulty of individual missions. This difficulty is determined by the host only. The game does have crossplay between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation players. And that's everything you need to know to play Space Marines 2 in co-op. This feels similar to how Helldivers 2 launched earlier this year. That game was very difficult to play in the first week or two due to server issues. Hopefully Space Marines 2 can push through and be playable in the same way Helldivers 2 did. Either way, we'll catch you on the next one.